She is known for her contributions as a composer and conductor. She faced challenges due to her racial background, which affected her work in South Africa. Her name is Avril Coleridge Taylor. In the realm of music history, there is a name that deserves recognition, Avril Coleridge Taylor, a legendary composer and conductor. Born in South Norwood, London, she was the daughter of the renowned composer Samuel Coleridge Taylor and his wife Jessie Wamesley. Avril had a passion for music from a young age, following in her father's footsteps and making a name for herself in the industry. Avril's musical journey took an interesting turn when she married Harold Dashwood in 1924. Initially, she composed and conducted using her first name and maiden surname. However, after their divorce, she decided to drop her first name and began to be known professionally as Avril Coleridge Taylor. This change allowed her to establish her own identity in the music world and showcase her unique talent. In 1952, Avril received a remarkable opportunity to go on a tour of South Africa. However, this was during a period of apartheid, where racial segregation and discrimination were prevalent. Despite being of mostly white European ancestry, Avril faced challenges when the South African government discovered that her father was not white. This revelation led to her being denied work as a conductor and composer, highlighting the devastating impact of the apartheid system on individuals' lives. Hashtag break hashtag undeterred by the setbacks, Avril Coleridge Taylor continued to pursue her passion for music. In 1939, she made a move to Buxted in East Sussex, where she found solace in the breathtaking views of the South Downs. It was in this serene environment that she dedicated herself to composing and conducting, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of music. Sadly, Avril passed away in late 1998 in Seaford, a coastal town in Sussex. Her final days were spent in a nursing home called Stone's House, where she was honored with a blue plaque in 1998. This plaque serves as a reminder of her remarkable contribution to the music industry and her unwavering dedication to her craft. Hashtag break hashtag Avril Coleridge Taylor's biography is one of resilience and passion. Despite facing adversity, she pursued her dreams and made a name for herself as a composer and conductor. Her story sheds light on the challenges artists can face and the importance of perseverance in the face of discrimination. Throughout her career, Avril composed and conducted numerous significant works, leaving an indelible mark on the field of music. Her compositions showcase her unique style and musical genius, and her contributions continue to inspire aspiring musicians to this day. Avril Coleridge Taylor's legacy is a testament to the power of music and the enduring spirit of those who overcome obstacles to follow their passion. Avril Coleridge Taylor, a talented composer, began her musical journey at a young age. At the tender age of 12, she wrote her first composition, Goodbye Butterfly. This early achievement set the stage for her future success in the world of music. In 1915, she was awarded a scholarship for composition and piano at Trinity College of Music. It was here that she honed her skills under the guidance of renowned mentors such as Gordon Jacob, Alec Rowley, Henry Wood, Ernest Redd, and Albert Coates. Hashtag continue hashtag in 1933, Coleridge Taylor made her formal debut as a conductor at the prestigious Royal Albert Hall. This marked a significant milestone in her career, as she became the first female conductor of HMS Royal Marines. Her talent and skill as a conductor quickly gained recognition, and she was frequently invited to guest conduct the BBC Orchestra and the London Symphony Orchestra. In 1938, she achieved another milestone by becoming the first female conductor to lead a performance at the bandstand in London's Hyde Park. Hashtag continue hashtag driven by a desire to support fellow musicians during the challenging times of the Great Depression, Coleridge Taylor founded both the Coleridge Taylor Symphony Orchestra and its accompanying musical society in 1941. This initiative aimed to provide employment opportunities for musicians. The orchestra, at its peak, consisted of over 100 musicians, including 70 professionals and 30 specially selected amateur string players. Additionally, she founded the Malcolm Sargent Symphony Orchestra and the New World Singers. Hashtag continue hashtag Coleridge Taylor's contributions extended beyond conducting and composing. In 1956, she arranged and conducted the spirituals performed in a BBC radio version of Mark Connolly's play, The Green Pastures. The following year, she composed her ceremonial march for Ghana's Independence Day celebrations, which was attended by notable figures like Martin Luther King Jr. In her later years, she dedicated herself to preserving her father's legacy and wrote a biography titled, The Heritage of Samuel Coleridge Taylor. This book not only shed light on her father's life but also shared her own memories and experiences. She also published compositions under the pseudonym Peter Riley. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.